Hey everybody, I'm Rashonda Tramble for The Numinous with your tarot scope for Gemini season. And Gemini season is about energy. It is a very energetic season. It's very sociable. Um, the energy of adaptation is swirling around us. Also, it can be a little bit unpredictable during Gemini season, especially in terms of communication. You know that phrase, um, loose, li loose lips sink ships? Okay, Gemini season is like taking a short jaunt on a Titanic. So that's the energy of, of the season that we're in right now. Now, our card for this season is, can you see that? It's the Ace of Wands. And I am going to ask you for a little bit of patience while I give a little bit of astrological context before I get really deep into the Ace of Wands and how you can use the energy of the Ace of Wands during Gemini season. Now, we've got quite a few astrological events coming up during Gemini season. So the first thing, and this is probably going on right now, Saturn has gone into retrograde in Aquarius. And so that means that there's an element of strictness, of restrictions, and you can even put law and order in that, but like order, planning, things should be this way and this way and this way. So that that's Saturn in retrograde in Aquarius. The other thing that's going on is, and I'm sure you've heard about this, is that Mercury is going into retrograde. Depending on when you're watching this, it has already gone into retrograde. So Mercury is going into retrograde. It is in Gemini during Gemini season. And Gemini is ruled by Mercury. So you know that Mercury retrograde, it asks you where it's, it's a time to be careful about your communication. So with all of that energy, that Mercury energy building up with Gemini, you kind of need to be careful on top of careful on top of careful during this season. So that's another thing that's going on. Okay, later on, probably around May 26th or so, and I mean, really, we're still talking about May here, we've got a lunar eclipse that's coming up in Sagittarius. And, you know, eclipses can be intense, and Sagittarius is about um, going wider. You know, it's about enlarging, opening up more. So you've got that energy. Plus, it's a super moon, so it's going to be even more intense. I promise you, I'm getting to the Ace of Wands in a second. So the other thing is, is that on June 10th, there is a solar eclipse coming up. And that solar eclipse is, you know, it, it, it it's going to focus on misalignment or possible misalignments because it's in Gemini. Now, what does all this have to do with the Ace of Wands? When I rattled off all of the astrological things that are going on during this time, how did you feel? Did you get a little nervous? Are you concerned? Is there fear? Well, this is where the Ace of Wands comes in. This card is about being creative. It's about power. And it's also about courage and facing your fear. Now, during this time, the Ace of Wands is asking you to use your power to face your fears about these astrological things that are going on. And you can use this energy to help you work through all of the astrological events that are that we will experience. Here's an example. Um, Saturn is in Aquarius. And so boundaries are in focus, you know, boundaries, strictness, you know, as I said, it's in retrograde. So maybe review and look in, look at the areas in your life that may need some discipline, that may need some boundaries. And not just that, have the courage to look at them and also have the courage to face the fear that may be behind you not being disciplined in a particular area. That's where that Ace of Wands energy can come into with you know Saturn being uh, Saturn in retrograde in Aquarius. Another way you can use this Ace of Wands energy for these astrological things that are going on. Think about Mercury retrograde. And maybe you fear that you are going to screw up an email. Now, let, let, let me say this. 
I, I kind of have issues when people say focus on, you know, focus on your communication during Mercury retrograde because you may mess it up. You should be doing that anytime, okay? But um, during this particular time, if you're afraid you're going to screw up your communication in some type of way, face that fear, all right? For example, we talked about the emails. Face the fear of messing up the email and use that fear in a way that will empower you to check your emails before you send them. That's facing the fear and doing something about it. That's that Ace of Wands energy. Um, so these are just two particular ways that you can use Ace of Wands energy, the courage that is associated with the Ace of Wands and facing your fear to make it through these this very intense astrological time that we are going through. So that's some of the things that you can do during this Gemini season. Um, I'm sure there are other ways you can think about if you go really deep down and start thinking about what you are afraid of during Gemini season and coming up with the courage using the Ace of Wands to face it. So that's what we have for this season and I will be back next season, which is Cancer. Until then, take care.